Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Logitech G600 MMO gaming mouse. This mouse has been turning a lot of heads because it looks like it might be the perfect mouse because it just is awesome. In fact, this is, okay, total aside, putting the product down. This is the first mouse that I've seen that has tempted me to ditch my Akari laser. I know, right? Like, I love the Razer Naga, but the shape doesn't quite do it for me. Like, I, but I love having all the buttons. It's great for playing, like, Torchlight or whatever else. I don't actually play any MMOs, but it's still great for RPGs. This, the shape, looks, in pictures, I haven't, I haven't touched one yet, looks like I might just go for it. So, MMO Gaming Mouse, 20 MMO tune buttons. I also love the way Logitech mice track. Like, my G9X is awesome. The only reason I use the Akari is because the shape really does it for me, but it doesn't have enough buttons. So, okay, I'm pretty stoked on this. All right, so 200 to 8200 dots per inch. Okay, 11.2 megapixels per second, 30 Gs maximum acceleration. It's like, how many Gs can you have? Um, like a G. 20 MMO tune buttons, a 12 thumb buttons, a clickable scroll wheel that tilts, DPI and profile switching, all pre-configured for optimal MMO use. Right out of the box, no drivers required. However, you'll still benefit from installing drivers. Intuitive thumb panel design. It looks really good, but I haven't tried it yet. Total personalization, three onboard profiles, store all your button assignments, tracking information and lighting color settings. Use them as is or download the optional software to tweak them to perfection. G shift and DPI shift. Activate G shift with the ring finger button, doubling the functionality of any thumb button. Oh, cool. So you can shift. Neat. Okay. Or set your profile to use the button for DPI shift, lowering the sensor's DPI for precision moves, like for sniping, for example. Crafted for comfort. It looks pretty good. High precision laser sensor. People swear by optical sensors still, but I'm not really that sold. Like I love the Akari laser. I can't think of any reason I would want an optical sensor versus that one. Intuitive light up thumb panel made for the way you play so you can actually change the lighting to any color, red, green, blue, white, or anything in between. And let's go ahead and have a look. You know the box could have been this big if they didn't have to say so much about how awesome this mouse is because this is all we really needed. Okay, here we go. No software included. Download the latest from Logitech, which is good. Just fine, just fine. Ooh. Oh wow, this is the best sleeving I've seen on the cord of a mouse ever. Like ever. Like look at this. Even right out of the box, it looks like rope. It doesn't have any of that like wired kinkiness to it, not really. It basically looks like the cord is wrapped in carbon fiber. Like can you see that? Can you see how awesome that is? I, yeah. Like I was biased already towards this mouse just because I'm really hoping it's as awesome as I think it is. But now it's just sort of making it really hard for me to not just want one. Okay, another thing that I love about Logitech, I know their mice are durable. I've been using my G9 for a few years now and the feet are still basically like the day I got it. They don't wear through at all. So again, this uh, the G600 has very large, very large slippy pads on the bottom all along the top of the mouse, all along the bottom of the mouse. Oh, the shape is like sex in your hand, but in a good way. It's like perfect. It's not a huge mouse. Um, so if you have smaller hands, it's probably gonna work perfect for you as a palm grip. You can see I can hold on to that just fine. Like I can shake my hand around, I can hold on to it, but without accidentally pressing any buttons except that left click, I'm actually pressing that one, but I'm not too worried about that. None of the, I don't have to hold on so tight that I'm gonna accidentally press any of these buttons though, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and peel this off. Okay. Um, got like kind of a sort of crisis nano suit looking pattern on the side here. The back, you got your G600, you got all your buttons. Okay, so let me just sort of visualize what these are like. So naturally, these six are gonna be easy. I can tell that much, just feeling them. So these six at the front here are gonna be easy. Once you come over these two ridges, it becomes very clear which set you're touching. And let me just see, like, am I gonna be able to move this? while operating these or operating these. It requires a bit of a shift. So what I'd say is you would want to have sort of these six be your main ones that you use and these ones would be like your backups. With the exception of ones like this, which you can reach quite easily even without moving just by rolling your thumb back. And maybe, you know, the bottom one's a little bit tougher. Even this one's pretty easy to feel just because you, you, can, you can really, this ridge right here is really the landmark that you've got. So these all curve in 
want you guys to have a look at this from the side. They all curve in towards the center, which gives you a really good feel for the six and the six. And then these are quite sharp as you roll over them, so that gives you a really good idea of which one you have your thumb on at any given time. It's quite smart. Um, the one problem I had with the Naga was that really for me to use them, I was only able to feel my way around maybe four or five of the buttons easily. This one, I think I could probably use at least seven to eight of them without any difficulty. This one as well is gonna be quite easy to get to because of the fact that it's got this, uh, this bump on it right here. So I'm thinking at least eight, nine, this is, oh man, I'm, I'm liking this. So you got a couple more G buttons here. This is that one that can be programmed either as a shift or as a, uh, or as a DPI switcher. Another programmable button here. These, see I can reach that like this. This one, I don't find to be that useful though, the G8. Um, I don't think I'd be able to reach that in a game. This has a tilt, either way, that'll obviously be usable. Middle click will be usable, and the shape of this is very nice. Your fingers fit in quite easily, and the pinky can either sit on the grip here, perfectly positioned grip so that you can keep it above the mouse pad if you want, or you can let your pinky drag, which some people do like to do as well. I'm actually gonna get Slick to give us the large-handed person perspective on this, so here, just give me the camera and uh, sort of just maybe give me the give me the nod or the not nod so that's what it looks like in much larger hands here here's slick's hand versus my hand suddenly yeah see so we're talking a pretty big difference here that's not a trick of the camera folks what do you think May it mostly claw grip yeah okay for, see for me i can palm it what if you try to palm it yeah so that's kind of jokes if you try to palm it your fingertips will be nowhere near the buttons see that so just a couple, of, so yeah, it'll be a claw grip for larger handed people and it'll be a fingertip grip for uh, people who have smaller hands for the ladies out there who want to play their, you know, um, My Little Pony MMO or whatever it is that girls, girl gamers play. Uh, so I'm, just, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I know girl gamers play real games, they just aren't watching this channel so I don't have to worry about what they think. Um, so th <laughs> okay, okay, right? to be clear, 3% of my viewers are female, so to those 3%, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look at the... Oh, you want me to plug it in, right? He kept gesturing. I wasn't sure, like... I wasn't sure what he meant by... He could have meant, like, shank someone, or he could have meant, like... I don't know. I wasn't sure where he was going with that. So let's go ahead and plug it in, have a look at the lighting effect. So I'm expecting it to glow at some point. Oh yeah. Looks pretty good. Look at that. It cycles through all the colors for you while it's, like, doing something. Fantastic. Actually, those are some of the better. Uh, so those are some of the better color transitions that I've seen as well. Very, very granular. So thank you for checking out this unboxing and first look on Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.